Hello, Wasteland. Yes, welcome back, brothers. That's right, we are here to look at Gaslands UK's Car of the Month competition for February 2023, the Ancient Egypt Month. That's right, boys and girls. I'm your host, James of JH Miniatures, and this video has been kindly sponsored and brought to you by John Irvine over at Modelmatic UK, the one stop shop for all of your diecast modeling car needs. So just before we get into this video, can we just take a minute to say a absolute enormous thank you to Modelmatic for sponsoring this month's competition. If you have never checked out the website, then you are doing yourself a disservice. They are the go-to foreign importer of all glorious diecast modeling brands into this fair nation of ours. And they have such a massive variety. It's it's just otherworldly. You have to see it to believe it, my friends. And can I just say a massive thank you for John for the prizes that he has put forward this month. Unheard of in this competition's history. He has unlocked the vaults this month, boys and girls. And the first, second and third place winners will be able to handpick cars from his personal collection. That's right, boys and girls. This is the equivalent of running into that pharaoh's tomb of, of treasures with a big bag and just say, well, I'd like this and one of those and one of those and oh especially one of those whoever wins this competition first second and third you have first dibs you contact john and give him an idea of what sort of things you like whether it's trucks or muscle cars or you know classic americans what whatever you like and he'll just send you a broad selection. So, as always, thank you so much to Modelmatic UK for sponsoring this competition. So, with generosity like this, what was the theme for this month's competition? Well, to celebrate the 100th anniversary of when Howard Carter opened the tomb of Tutankhamun. That's right. Don has decided that this month will be an ancient Egypt-themed month. That's right. So, we are talking the ghost of pharaohs long forgotten. We are talking the undead sand. We are talking the Scorpion King. We are talking pyramids and sphinxes and all of the wonderful tropes of Hollywood that we all love and enjoy to this day, boys and girls. From scarab swarms to long forgotten puzzles and mysteries of the afterlife. Oh, yes. One absolute banger of a theme with a massive broad selection this month. We have had some absolutely stunning builds and some returning heavyweight champions. This month we have had 26 finished entrants. 26! We, you know, big numbers again, boys and girls. So from the top we have had Carl Morton, Damien Sailors, Daniel Mumford, David Bousset, David Traves, Daz Phillips, Hardo Pius, Ian Barham, Ian Dankin. Ingvard Niebsen, Justin Vazak, Keith Ambrose, Keith McAvoy, Kev Williams, Maciej Metrak, Mark Freeman, Matt Morrill, Matt Whittam, Molinaro Dominique, Rene Kotman, Richard Hubbard, Stephen Brooks, Steve Chan, Tom Whittam, Tombo Baxter, and of course, William Burke. Now I know a couple of you are looking at that list and going, well, hang about, why am I not on there? Odd Job Mod and Travis Olsen, we need to talk. My friends, both of you have been disqualified this month. I want you to see the images on the screen, boys. You submitted your entries late. It is midnight on the last day of the month. Not four hours into the morning of the next day. It is midnight, okay? We, we've been over this a hundred times, but the deadline is there for a reason. And, and Travis at so close at three hours in. And these, these are good builds. These are good builds. Just submit your entries either on time or well before. You know, think of it this way, guys. You get, what, nearly a whole month to craft these builds. Why, oh why, are you leaving it to the last minute to submit your entries? Why? Why do that to yourself? Why have that risk? I mean, Travis Olsen, this is a fantastic Scorpion build that you've made this month. Uh, the little beetle camper van combo. Absolutely love it. But but I can't talk about this because you submitted it late. And and come on, odd job mod. Mate, what, what are you doing to me? I mean... Okay, don't get me wrong, the paint jobs uh, it leaves a little to be desired, but I get the whole, like, uh, you know, mummy-wrapped bandage kind of look. 
but come on, my friend, what is going on? Submitting it four hours late? Are you kidding me? You know the deadlines. You know it's UK time, not anywhere else. This is, you know, Gasland's UK competition, so it's going to be midnight in England. Just submit it early. Submit your entries early. Do not leave it to the last minute, my friends. So, with 26 finished entries this month, my brothers, we should start this off strong. That's right, we're going to look at the heavyweight champion from 2021, Car of the Year winner for 2021, I might add. That's right, returning superstar, Mache Metrax entry, The Shake. Oh yes, what a absolute banger of a build, my friend. It is good to see you back and on form, my goodness. I just love it. I love the level of detail you've gone to here. I love the additions. I love the, you know, these two adventurers trying to steal a sarcophagus and all different, you know, mummy Egyptian relics and, and bits and pieces. I think what, what gets me is just the sense of action and scale going on here. You can see the mummy trying to break free from the sarcophagus. You can see See the one crawling out of that crate. I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. The rope, the size of the rope is on point and you compare that to the chains, they work beautifully together. This is how you do mixed media, boys and girls. This is what we're talking about. Mad shame, my friend. Ah, it is good to see you back on form. Now, there are a few things that stand out to me that I think ultimately, you know, as you, as you ease back into the competition, my friend, I'm sure we'll see change as the months go by. The first being, of course, the fact that this, whilst heavily ancient Egyptian themes, I'm not getting too much of the wasteland aesthetic. Okay, it's set in the desert, so there's a lot of, you know, dust and, and grime and all that, which is lovely. But, my friend... Don't shy away from adding some spikes or some thicker tyres or just something that, you know, what if one of the door panels had come off and was replaced with like a piece of a, an ancient Egyptian tablet or something? That'd be really cool. Just, this is the thing, it's still a wasteland competition. Look at where you are, my friends. Gaslands UK, the post-apocalypse is now, my friends. That is, that is the underlying current the blood of this competition at the same time i can't i can't stress it enough what a fantastic build it is so good to see you again my friend the the painting is on point the details are on point like my goodness what a solid entry match eh? but it is so good to see you back my friend yes i look forward to seeing what else you have in store for us this year but if we're talking about reigning heavyweight champions how how can i not talk about the return as it was foretold in the scriptures of your friend and mine molinaro dominique oh yes <laughs> what an alien build he has come up for us today oh my goodness if you want the strange and esoteric you know where to turn my friends combined out of multiple vehicles i'm pretty sure there's a land rover and a vw bug in there but my goodness what a what a strange mix isn't it i mean i, I particularly like the the sort of the the bars the ribbing of the pharaoh sort of cowl how you've then painted that to look like it glows like neon i think i think that's a real nice touch but it's very it's very strange my goodness if Maché's entry leans more into the accuracy and the, the sort of the historical depiction of that Hollywood-esque 1900s chasing down the streets while you know trying to escape with the the pharaoh's treasure, this is is very much it's de they, this is definitely wasteland Molinaro, but my goodness, I don't know what all the extra little details like the chain sarcophagus on the back and the little statues they look so nice they're so well done i'm a little confused as to the almost creature like snout of the front radiator i think that mechanically is a bit confusing as to what it is is it meant to like mince things up is it meant to be like a, a crushing sort of machine I, I don't know but the the actual <laughs> the concept and execution. Anyone who's a 40k man, this is very Thousand Sons, isn't it? This is very, you know, otherworldly horrors and mixed in with an Egyptian theme. Very nicely done, Molinaro. 
Returning heavyweight champions, Maché, Metrak, and Molinaro Dominique, setting the tone for this month, my brothers. But they are not the only returning favourites we have had this month, because we have had the glorious return of your friend and mine, Ian Barham, and this wonderful half-track entry of his half-tank, half-stretched limousine from the look of it. It's, a, it's an absolute monster of a build. It is nice to see you using a plain white background for your photos. And whilst the the paint job continues to... Whew, oh, Ian. <laughs> oh, be still, my beating heart. But the um, the actual concepts and execution is very nice. I'm, I'm not sure what's going on with those sort of big candy cane toy store looking decorations around the driver's compartment i don't i don't understand that i think the the giant urns on the top of the the pillars are a bit strange um the ank on the front works well enough as a as a stolen relic i think there's there's a story here but it's getting lost in the translation isn't it ian but my goodness my friend it is good to see you return return to this competition my brother Oh, fantastic. It always be, your entries always put a smile to our face at the end of the day. Ian. Love it. Absolutely love it. And then after Ian, we have Matt Morrell's incredibly blinged up gold leaf covered entry. That's right, boys and girls. He used actual gold leaf on his entry this month. My goodness. I can't imagine that was cheap because how how much does gold leaf cost these days? It's actual actual gold has been used in this truly, you know, chariot fit for the pharaohs of old. My goodness. I mean they, there's a lot there's a lot going on here. There's a lot to see. I think as you pointed out yourself, Matt, trying to use gold leaf on something like this. Oh boy, it's Oh, I I credit to you. Yeah, I I my goodness, that must have been a challenge and a half. And the temptation must have been there to be like, no, I'm just gonna do the engine block. I'm just gonna do the wheel arches. I'm just gonna do the running boards. I'm not gonna bother doing the whole thing. But no, you did the whole vehicle in gold leaf. That is absolutely absurd. There, there's a few things that I think jump out to me, Matt, that long term we're going to work on, buddy. As always, uh, I like guns on builds, but that, oh boy, that machine gun is massive and just hanging on by a thread, isn't it? I want to see connection points. I've said this to you before. I want to see chains and I want to see panels and I want to see rivets and things. And we're getting those. But something that stands out to me is that lovely little chap standing on the back. Now, I know for a fact that that is an Airfix World War II German officer. I should know because I have said World War II German Airfix officer here in my possession. Now, I'm just going to show you two pictures side by side. You see the level of detail that is in this little guy's face. That is lost in your guy, Matt. And I think I finally cracked it. It's not that the paint you're using is too thick. I want to say you're using the wrong paint entirely. Are you using like craft store paint or something? Because that is so, so heavy on his on his face and on his hat and his coat. I get that you're going for like a British officer, explorer that's found this this wealth of ages and is, is sort of speeding off in his chariot of the gods. However, it gets lost in translation when the guy is just painted white and black and blue and brown and that's it. Even the gun he's holding is gold. Like it's just, oh, it just doesn't quite work. And I, I want to say... It's the paint, because I've we've seen it before in some of your previous entries, that heavy white that gets applied, and all the detail just gets lost. But this is the one instance where I can point to it and say, I've got that model, and I know there's detail there. It's the paint, not the model. So have a look at that, my friend. But all in all, it is it is a absolutely fabulous build, Matt. And I truly, if you're if you're pushing the bar and looking at gold leaf and things now, I can't wait to see what you come up with for the rest of this year, my friend. And next we have Steve Chan's entry. Oh yes, my friend. What a way to start out the year in style, my goodness. I love it. I love the gold. I love the the wealth of ages that is being put onto these builds. The handmade decals of hieroglyphics that you've got on the back of the truck there, beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. I think the, the work you've been putting in is just stellar. I would love to see a bit more of it. I know we've got this one shot 
lengthways where we can sort of see the hieroglyphics but like on the door panel both both door panels you've just gone over with with sort of rusted metal extra armor and that's fine but it would be nice to see one of the door panels with the hieroglyphics sort of continued i think that would have worked really well the <laughs> the mummy's bandage wrapped you know front, front engine block that's an interesting idea. Uh, I don't know how practical it would be. I get the feeling that would burst into flames immediately, but it is it is a solid it's a solid idea. It this sells the theme at the end of the day, boys and girls. You look at this and there's no doubt about it. You don't need the giant anks on the on the banner poles in the background to get it, to look at this and get this is an ancient Egypt themed build set in the wasteland. That's the thing. The giant mummy's arm hanging out the window he's holding what is he is he holding his own leg is he holding a leg that he's going to hit people with on the way past <laughs> fantastic fantastic this is oh what a build steve absolutely love it absolutely love it fantastic work my friend i look forward to seeing what you come up with in march's competition but let us return to a simpler time now my friends and looking at the work once again second month of 12 from heavyweight champion from 2022 dave Bousset's entry and slap my backside and call me a biscuit my goodness david behave yourself my friend look at this monster just let it let it soak into you for a minute the sheer amount of detail and texture and stuff that is on show here at the moment, my friends. I mean, there are little things that stand out to me, like the kind of 3D printed pharaoh's tomb antenna to communicate with alien gods. I, I don't entirely get what it's meant to be or do, but as a recovered relic that the, you know, the, the team's running away with, I get that, but it doesn't, it doesn't really need it. That's the thing that the more I look at this, the more it stands out. It's got so much here that if you just knocked that bit off the back, you'd still identify this as a beautifully ancient Egyptian themed post-apocalyptic vehicle. I mean, look at the wear and the damage and the extra armor and all the wonderful fiddly little extra plastic hard bits that he has made. This is what the competition is about, boys and girls. As I said to yourself, Mache, ancient tablets being used as extra armor because it's just a big solid piece of metal or stone, right? I love it. And then the kind of little sarcophagus dropper at the bottom, which I imagine when they crack open, all sorts of evil spirits and things would fly out to attack the, the oncoming cars. Just or, or could be filled with scarabs that form little hazard drops. Like the the possibilities are endless. What can I say, David? Fantastic work this month. Absolutely setting the trend as usual. And we look forward to what you come up with in March's competition. But if we're talking about David, how can we not talk about his arch rival, his true nemesis? That's right. Darren Phillips' entry from this month. My goodness. Anyone who has seen an Ed Roth car will know exactly the inspiration behind this beautiful build. My goodness goodness my friend now this is where we get into the nitty-gritty because whilst this is a beautifully executed build like hands down i myself cannot do this i do not have the skill to green stuff that kind of wonderful face and all the bandages and the hands and the fingers and like i just don't have it in me the big question remains if you're making a ed roth style ancient egyptian build you got the chariot spikes on there which is really good but is this a post-apocalypse theme build? Because at the end of the day, this is still the Wasteland, boys and girls. It has to be the Wasteland. This is the Gaslands UK Facebook group, my friends. It is burned into our very being. It is carved into our bones. And as amazing as an entry this is, oh, it, oh it's just on the mark, isn't it? But there's so there's so much here to love and just enjoy. Just let it just soak it in, my brothers. Like look at the the little little scarabs, the technique there for making those. That is the simplest thing in the world. Just just a little blob of green stuff or milliput or modeling putty, and then just two lines, just one across the front and one across the back to create the shell segmentation. It's so simple, but it works so well. It reads immediately as little scarabs fantastic absolutely fantastic and the ones dropping off the back my goodness darren behave yourself my friend however 
as I said, this is still a wasteland competition, and as beautiful as this is, yeah, oh boy, you know, it, it crosses, it's, I suppose uh, the big question is, would you feel comfortable playing with this on the table, or do you look at the sheer amount of work and go, oh, well, I don't want it to get damaged, I'll put it on the shelf, I'll, I'll, I'll put it away in a box, because I don't want it to get damaged, you gotta, you gotta build things that you're comfortable playing with, my brothers, oh, what, what a piece of work, it's so good. It's, oh, Darren, yes, my friends, absolutely fantastic work. And as always, I cannot wait to see what you come up with for the rest of this year. Are you going to stand and watch David blaze a trail of glory? No, Darren, come fight my brothers. <laughs> Right then, but speaking of brothers and family, how can I not talk about Matt Whittam and Tom Whittam's entries? That's right. So first, Matt, my friend, this scarab, what a vision from the gods. My goodness. This is this is one of those ones where you glance at it and you go, Oh yeah, it's just a just a neat armoured car. I don't really see the you know okay, the the weld lines between the panels is yeah, that that's okay. But the more you look into it and the more you realise that all of the exhausts and the front rams are in the shape of the scarab legs. My goodness, Matt. Yes, this is what this competition is all about. The, the fact that the profile is there, the look is there, the kind of mean heavy metal just keep on ploughing through barriers and barricades in the wasteland aesthetic like some heavy industrial Egyptian war machine. Love it absolutely love it and this is this is the thing i think because i'm a when it comes to well beads i like my be beads to be big and chunky but that's because i got bad eyesight I, I you know i love you can still see the texture i love you can still see the seam lines i love that you've got the scratches and maybe maybe a bullet hole or two would work on this like something just to separate because it is very symmetrical it is both sides look kind of the same but my friend, what a fantastic entry. Very unique. This is potentially the first scarab truck we have ever seen in this community, let alone in the last, what, seven years since this, this community exploded in popularity. What a unique build. So good. Absolutely love it, Matt Whittam. If we are talking about you, how can we not talk about your nephew's very first entry to this fine competition of ours? One monster truck of Egyptianness. Oh yes. And this is this is the thing. When we go for the theme, it doesn't always have to be right. Well, it's an ancient Egyptian theme, so I'm going to have a sarcophagus on there and the Eye of Ra and Anubis statue and da -da -da, and like a pharaoh breaking out of his tomb. Like no. It could just be as simple as a big monster truck with spiked hubcaps with some beautiful paintwork either side, which, hey, if your nephew did that by hand, incredible work, Tom. Absolutely incredible. And even if it's not, fantastic eye for spotting that because this is a wonderfully eye-catching, unique piece of work you have submitted here today, my friend. Oh, yes. The giant hands holding the bar coming out the back... They're a bit out of scale, but at the same time, they could just be part of the, the design or the bodywork at the end of the day. You see a lot of show show trucks and cars that will have like body panels and things that are reaching out to you. So don't worry about it. And I will say, I love the, the minigun that's just so elegantly sort of tucked away there on the side and painted in with the body so nicely. I think if that was like a really bright silver on its on its enclosure, it would stand out like a sore thumb. So the fact you continued that red in step with the rest of the body, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. There is sadly a little bit of damage that we can see on one of the spikes. Uh, front left tire, if you just look there, there's a bit that's come off. Um, I'm sure you can find it, buddy, and glue it back on. Or paint it to look like rust drill a little hole there make it look like intentional damage these vehicles are in the wasteland they're gonna get knocked up and things are gonna fall off rivets and bolts come out every day my friend so take advantage of the accident but what a fantastic entry tom and as always, a fantastic entry from yourself, Matt Whittam. But let us bring this to a close by talking about just a few more, my friends. I want to point out the beautiful eye-catching work of Justin Vazak this month. I do apologise if I pronounce your name wrong. There's not many English names with Vazak in the, in the last name. 
<laughs> it's such a it's such a simple conversion, but this works so well, doesn't it, my brothers? And it really it really hits that theme because it's still that's the thing, it's still an apocalypse contest, my friends. And just a pharaoh riding riding into the glorious horizon in his in his coffin sarcophagus chariot. Oh, what a build. What an absolute banger of a build. Love it. Absolutely love it, Justin. And finally, let us have a look at the one, the only, Rene Kaltman's entry. Oh, yes. I think this is one a lot of us will have glanced over and gone, yeah, it looks all right. It's just a big anubis head on, on wheels with, with a half track at the back. But a lot of work has gone into this, and I can see that. I don't... I, I, I appreciate the enormous sphinx that you've made. But May, if you're chaining that to the car, there is no way that car is dragging that Sphinx. You know, I, unless it's like a giant parade float with little wheels underneath it. May, that is too heavy. That is too set in the stone, my friend. But the overall conversion here, I think it's just a wonderful use of that, of that wolf-like car body. The the way the ears fit perfectly. The actual design looks great. A little heavy on the gold and the blue. I think you don't need it on those tracks at the back. You could have just painted those like just a dust colour. Just like metal and dust and that would have been fine. It's still the desert at the end of the day. Um, but the, the rest of it, mate. And I appreciate those side panels because you look at those those base cars that it comes with. They don't have, you know, it's just an open space on either side of the of the body. You've had to fill that space, and you've done a good job, and you've painted in the, that wonderful, like, fighter plane-looking, cheeky, cheeky, growling smile. And it works. It absolutely works. So, no, fantastic work, Reddy, and I look forward to seeing what you come up with in March's competition. But that all said, my brothers, we know what we're here for at the end of the day. Yes, that's right. We are here to look at the winner from this month, boys and girls. So, without any further ado, start the drum roll, my friends, because the winner of Gaslands UK's Car of the Month competition for February 2023 is... David Bousset! <laughs> That's right, David. Come on down. Returning heavyweight champion. Is there no one alive that can stop this man's conquest of this competition? My goodness. But my friend, when you look at the quality of this build, it is not hard to see why. The judges were unanimous in their support of this entry. My goodness. As, as Matt Reeve put it himself, if you were in the wasteland and all of these cars were lined up, looking at them, you know which one you would jump in. Because it is wasteland, and it is apocalypse, and it is Mad Max, and it is ready for the Armageddon that comes from opening the tombs of the pharaohs of old, my friend, and dealing with the shadows of Egypt. Oh yes, all the little details are absolutely on point. The, the little... <laughs> The sarcophagus dropper at the back is just such a wild and fun concept. The 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 fun little extra bits like the little scarab on the blower of the engine there, like the panels on the side, like you know, cutting out the little vision holes in those side armor panels with the eye of Ra. It's just oh, that's so cool. That's such a good idea, David. And that's the key with this build. There's so much here that is just a feast for the senses, isn't it? Look at it. My goodness. But yes, fantastic work, David. My goodness, is there no one that can stop this man's conquest of the ages? Second month into 2023, and he's already taken one of the places, my friends. Come on, Darren, Maché, Molinaro, come on, my friends. We have to defeat this man. But fantastic work, David. Absolutely fantastic. But if that was first place, who do we have in second? That's right, returning. This is this is the key, boys and girls. They don't win car of the year for nothing at the end of the day. That's right, in second place we have Maché Metrax entry. Oh yes, my friend. What an absolute banger of a build. And as I said earlier, an absolute return to form for you. If anyone is able to topple the titan that is Dave from his throne, I know I've got my money on you, my friend.
No, absolutely fantastic. And in third place, this one had us divided in the admin team because it's one of those builds that when you glance at, you miss it. You absolutely miss all the beautiful work and detail that's gone into it. I myself was guilty of this and I will ha take my hat off to that because at the end of the day, Matt Whittam, yes, my friend, you deserve third place. Look at the quality of this build. It is so imaginative and solid this is a rock solid build and the level of quality that we have come to expect from you my friend so congratulations matt whittam and you are the final entrant into the modelmatic treasure trove that's right the door has slammed shut now wastelanders and the rest of you can only look on in pure jealousy and envy at least until march's competition rolls round so congratulations to david matche and Matt. And as always, my friends, I know you wish I could talk about all of your entries. I mean, just look at the sheer amount of giant scorpions we've had this month. Carl Morton and Damien Sailors made some fantastic giant scorpions. Alongside, if we're talking about enormous sphinxes, how could I not talk about Daniel Mumford? But sadly, this video must come to an end. So as always, thank you, boys and girls, for watching. Thank you to John Irvine over at Modelmatic for sponsoring this fine competition and wonderful community of ours. And if you fancy supporting the show, head on over to Big Cartel and check out the Gaslands merchandise store because we have a fine selection of t-shirts and hoodies for you to look at with more designs on their way soon, my brothers. Yes, so as always, thank you for watching Wasteland and I will see you in March's competition. Thank you and 